KJ Dillon? Questions for KJ? Um, I'm not even sure. They just seen something in our defense that they liked, and they just kept on attacking us at that point. Anything else for KJ? Yeah. KJ, can you? Um, he just threw it right to me, and I knew. I seen all that grass, and I knew if I ain't score, Coach Hoes was gonna be mad at me when I came back to the sideline. <laughs> at that point, things are looking pretty, looking pretty. Yeah, good. we're looking pretty up right there. Um, it, it was pretty critical because we, um, we were just in the wrong defense at the time, and uh, they just seen they they seen that we um that we was gonna do a blitz, and they just checked it. It was just a perfect check, perfect call. That was just good by them. KJ, can you overall, overall, can you just talk about the play of their quarterback, Kyle Allen? Just about the play of their quarterback and how what made him difficult to play against? Uh, um, he just made plays when he really needed to, um, and it's just we thought we um, had him scr- um, pocket in the um, trapped in the pocket. Sometimes he got to um, he uses legs more than we thought he was, so um, I guess that what gave him more advantage. Last question for KJ. One of the more difficult things in a bowl game is, is tackling. What did you think of the tackling effort for you guys today? I think we didn't do too bad of a job tackling. I just think we didn't do enough of it. I think we didn't miss critical tackles when we needed to make them. Dana, opening uh, thoughts? Uh, didn't play good enough. Too many missed opportunities. Congratulations to Coach Sumlin and Texas A&M. Uh, obviously, uh, doing some good things. Uh, doing a heck of a job of recruiting. Those guys looked pretty good, and they played pretty good. Bigger, faster, stronger than we were. So, you know, it's disappointing. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, f- on the season, uh, I think we showed some improvement. But I uh, just got to keep getting better. I got, got a lot of guys coming back, so we should be a little bit better next year. Questions for Coach Holden? <clears throat> Your offense was, was home in the first half, second half. Kind of came off the rails a bit. What? What did ANN do to cross you guys up? Well, we had more yards in the second half than we did the first half. You know, third quarter was atrocious offensively. Um, thing that stands out, you know, we lost by eight. Thing that stands out was, uh, you know, the field goals. I mean, we were too many stalled drives. Um, you know, I don't know how many field goals we attempted, but too many stalled drives. You know, to play a game uh, that, that's, that's going to have to score 46 points to win it. You're going to have to score 46 points to win it. You can't settle for that many field goals. So I think we did a good job of driving the ball. Uh, you know, had one turnover. You know, kind of finally kept up, to, uh, caught up to, to Kevin. But, uh, you know, the turnover battle wasn't an issue. And it has been an issue, you know, for the majority of the year this year. But the uh, biggest thing is too many stall drives. I thought we moved the ball well, just didn't score enough points. Yeah, Dana, was there anything you saw from Allen? That you didn't see on the film. Uh, yeah, he's uh, well. He showed improvements, like we talked about the other day. He looked comfortable to me. I mean, he's going to be a heck of a player. I think Skyler made improvements. Uh, he was off a little bit. He kind of threw some high balls, but but the, the the way he operated, the way he communicated, the way he ran the offense, I saw improvement. Uh, and with uh, with Kyle, uh, I saw improvement in him too. You know, he was throwing the ball pretty good. Ran the ball more than I anticipated. Uh, but, uh, the, the, you know, uh, he, he's, he's athletic and he's a good football player. Uh, he's going to continue to get better. Next question, raise your hand, please. We'll get a mic to you. Anything else for Coach Holgerson? Kyle not only ran the ball, but they ran the ball probably a lot better and more than, than you thought they were going to, uh, I suspect. Uh, uh, what were they doing to, to make the running game work? Uh, we weren't getting off blocks. We were stuck on blocks like I haven't seen in quite some time. Our D-line was terrible. Uh, you know, Quit and, and, and Wes, um, you know, usually are a little bit more active than that. But, uh, you know, they're big. They got good old linemen. They've put guys in the NFL each and every year. They got a couple of guys up front that are going to go to the NFL again. Um, you know, with that said, if we want to cons- be, be considered amongst one of the top teams in the country, 
uh, we're going to have to get off blocks regardless of who we're playing, and we didn't do that. Dana, clearly a lot of improvement this season. We just talked to Kevin before he left here, and he said you know he'll remember this team fondly <laughs> and all of that. But if you could, I know it's still fresh, but look back on this season, the improvements this team made. What, what, what how would you evaluate this season and what uh, the players, I guess, have meant to you along the way? Well, the, the 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 one thing I appreciate about this team more than anything is is their their the the effort that they play the game with. They like to play the game. All right, play with. We play with good effort. We're excited to play the game. Uh, you know, we were competitive. Uh, won more games than we did last year. We're competitive, and in some close games, we're able to pull out the victory. Uh, still, it still resulted in seven and six. Uh, you know, I really appreciate the seniors and everything that, that they've done. We're not losing very many of them, probably six that played today. Um, you know, so we got a lot of guys coming back, you know, and we're going to be, we're going to add to them with recruiting and, and field a full roster and have a ton of guys in the spring and, and, and we'll show more improvements here next year. Last question. <clears throat> Yeah, um, Wendell had a couple of nice runs, but overall, especially in the first half, the running game didn't seem to be consistent. And, and this was a team that gave up, as you know, almost 400 yards in their last game and then fired their coordinator. Did you see anything, again, that you didn't expect from them? Any changes they made? No, no. I mean, they're a good football team. Uh, they were giving up a couple hundred rushing, and we only had 126. I was not happy with their running game. I thought Wendell looked fresh. I thought he gave us a little bit of a burst. but. Uh, didn't see a lot of push up front. We just didn't. You know, I, I'd have to study the film to be able to critique exactly why that was the case. But uh, I mean, they have SEC big defense alignment that are young, that are getting better and better. So again, if we're if we're going to want to be relevant to the point to where we can consider championships and 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 win big bowl games and and finish with a big record and compete for a championship, we're going to have to block those type of people. And we didn't do a very good job of it today. Thank you, Dan. All right, thank you guys.